You know, everyone kept telling me that I shouldn't leave Jake in the nursery, but I knew that you'd want to see him the moment you woke up. Oh, and now I just can't wait to get him home to introduce him to his big brother. And very soon you're going to be sleeping in your own crib, in your own room. <laughs> yeah, your mommy, she went all out on the jungle thing. She painted lions and elephants all over the wall so they'd watch over you when we couldn't. <laughs> Not that you're going to be spending too much time alone. I don't think your daddy has let you out of his sight for five minutes. Oh, what can I say? I'm an excited dad. <laughs> you looking around out here for a reason? I saw you eye in Elizabeth's room the whole time I was in 415 changing the dressing on that fool who passed down and hit his head while <laughs> his wife was having his baby. <laughs> I did come to see the baby, yeah. Well, it's kind of hard to do from all the way out here. No, I know. But Lucky and Elizabeth have had a ton of visitors today, and I think they could use some time alone. Then why are you still standing out here? Oh, I don't know, Epiphany. You know Elizabeth and I aren't the best of friends, but I spent all that time with her during the hotel crisis, and I feel like I, I coached her through it, you know? I was like, breathe and stay calm. You're not going to have your baby yet. And I just, I guess I feel some sort of connection to the baby. <laughs> Hi. Hey. I'm so sorry to intrude. I wanted to drop the bell for a little. Jake. Well, actually, it's Jacob Martin Spencer. That's a, a good, strong name. You know what? That's what everyone keeps saying. I guess you made the right call. I guess so. <laughs> well, come in and see him. Are you sure? Yeah, Jake. He loves visitors, especially ones that bring presents. Oh, <laughs> Hi. Oh, he is beautiful. Look at those eyes. Wow. Yeah, he gets those from his grandma, Laura. You want to hold him? L Lucky, you're gonna, you'll have to excuse him. He's been passing Jake around all morning. He doesn't get that some people might not want to hold the newborn. No, I, I don't mind if it's okay with you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Here, hold this pop up for a minute. Which arm? Like that? Okay. Jason told you about Jake's surprise entrance into the world. I heard there were some complications. Yeah, he scared his daddy half to death. Jason hadn't stopped by the house. Elizabeth and Jake were dying. Oh, you are very lucky to be here. Jason, look out for you. Um, I, I gotta, I gotta get back to work. So no, uh, you know what? I've been hogging him all afternoon. Why don't you let his mommy have him for a while? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Are you all right? Uh, I'm so sorry. Oh, how embarrassing. I get this way around babies. Well, I guess it's probably a good thing we didn't let Jake come on your TV show. That's pretty, pretty hard to read a teleprompter through tears. What are you talking about? Your your producer Amelia, she's come by a couple times. She wanted me to bring Jake on Everyday Heroes, but we, we told her that we just weren't comfortable with it. Yeah, Amelia wouldn't take no for an answer. Wow, I am really sorry about that. I'll make sure she never bothers you again. Sorry. Jake, it's your yeah. first little puppy. Kind of reminds me of Foster. Now, that was a very smart and loyal dog. Probably the best friend a kid could ever ask for. You know what? When you get a little bigger, I'm going to get you and Cam a dog just like this. For you two. <laughs> I love you. You know that? I love you too. And I love you, too. <laughs> you know, I, when I think about how close I came to losing you both... But you did it. We're fine. You know, now that he's here, it's just hard to imagine my life without him. There's nothing better than looking down and seeing his face. Good.